try throwing a grenade. I wonder if I'll hit anyone. Ooh, if he hadn't carried a walking there, that would have been a good one actually. Surprise. Oh, for God's sake, go away! I like them moves, they're quite fun to do it. Oh, it's Sally, okay. <laughs> Can I carry on going or do I have to wait for Sully? Oh, there's still more down there. I thought I killed them all. There we go. Now I've killed them all. Give me some help with this door. Tick tock. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's come in. Alright. Yeah, if you go up the top um, really and go sure. across them Lord beams, there is a treasure. But you are meant to come down to carry on. Hey, look at this. Reminds me of the first game. It's one of Talbot's. Oh yeah, that's another thing I did kind of say. That's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. Yeah, sorry about that. I was gonna. <laughs> I needed to stop talking while they were talking. I thought it was kind of important for you to hear what they were saying. Um, yeah, I kind of said before that I haven't played the first game, but I've been watching a Let's Play of the first one. Hey, and, um, yeah, I plan on getting it really soon, back. maybe doing a Let's Good Play idea. myself as well. So, I know sort of the first 15, 20 minutes of the game. Did Lawrence make any notes about this? Let me check. So, yeah, you just follow what's written in the um, journal and it's you're reading it from you're going yeah I am right so like yeah you're reading it from bottom to top so you just follow the symbols on your journal oh god didn't mean to do that sorry that's one two three four and then how many of these? Three. Yeah. Then four of them. Then two X's. Yeah. And then, no, wait, wait, oh, through the river, okay, no. yeah, okay, so it must be that one, that one and that one, and then the finish, there we go, not too hard. Pitch dark in here. Want to give us some light? Sure. Oh, looks like some sort of laboratory, doesn't it? Hey, a little more light, Sully.
Hmm. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Hey, look at this. Huh. Sabian script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nakian script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Yeah, or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh. Right. Help me push. Oh, would you look at that? Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Not you. John D. Oh. Well, you're crafty too. And old. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really want to talk that much through that, because that kind of... Yeah. Like I said before, I'm not really going to talk through many of the cutscenes and stuff like that, so... Here we go. This looks like fun. Sully, give me a light. Yeah. Ah, much better. You know, one of these days you're really gonna have to start carrying your own matches. What are you talking about? Yeah, down that way. Okay. Sorry, I'm not sure what, what direction it was that I was meant to be walking. Whoa. Looks like they really wanted to keep something out. We're in. Here, give me a hand with this. Yeah. I got it. There you go. Ooh, I actually quite like this puzzle. It's quite hard until you sort of realise what you're meant to be doing, but it's really cool. The torch sort of shows you. If you look, there are four squares around this sort of area. Exactly. So you're looking at what symbol is round each, like, you know, so on top of this one it's that, and then to this side it's that, you know, and you look at what um, symbol it is on the wall to match it up with this symbol, and this? then you can match it up with Medieval the... game show? <laughs> Pretty elaborate. Yeah. So there. That one hasn't got it on there. That one's the eagle or phoenix, whatever it is. So above this one, there's that. There's no below one. So to the side, it's like eight. Then a crisscross pattern. No, no, like. U with a upside down U with a tail. <laughs> so that, oh god, okay, that there. Change with that one. Uh, change to the Phoenix. So we'll come to here, I believe. Then the horse. Okay, let's go find what on the horse says. I assume this one's going to be the horse, I don't know. Actually, I think that one might be like the goats. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I remember now. Sorry, I remember from last time I played it. So, if the one that's meant to be where the horse is or unicorn is or whatever. Uh, 
so let's put that one there and then let's put the goat where I put the horse there we go done got it good job mm. looks inviting watch yourself the one and only <laughs> this is it. Here, hold this, will you? Sure. <clears throat> Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. <sighs> Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. It's in Sabean script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah, exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. It could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now, it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. Dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. <laughs> 